so when i'm able to have this feeling in me you know of trust respect many families living together making collective effort for a common goal now there are three possibilities when you look at the society families living together with a feeling of relationship of mutual fulfillment or people living together but not in relationship of mutual fulfillment or people living separately in opposition or struggle what is naturally acceptable living together hai na in a mutually fulfilling manner the second possibility is a crowd so maybe we'll see that we are living in high rise towers but we are not able to hai na communicate with anyone we are living as a crowd unaware of each other in noida one woman committed suicide in a colony where high rise buildings were there and she got sandwich between two buildings and people came to know when the smell was coming after some days you know now this is the state somebody is so disturbed within but the other you know neighbor is also not aware it has become a crowd kind of thing so we are living together but unaware of each other unfulfilled with each other living as a crowd and the third possibility is this people living separately in opposition or struggle having conflicting goals so you can see how you know israel and palestine are fighting how russia and ukraine are fighting and this can scale up any time it has become a kind of battlefield we can see this even within the country we can see this you know between families so this becomes a kind of battlefield battlefield <coughs> so we essentially want this society we do not want crowd or battlefield so with this clarity we will explore further so when you look at the society there are certain things which you naturally accept what do i want as a society i am in a society what do i want so one thing that we want is to have the right understanding right feeling ensuring happiness in every individual isn't it let everybody have the right understanding right feeling what program you have to make we can decide but why should it be the case that somebody is having right understanding others are simply following him or her why not everybody have the right understanding similarly let every family be prosperous every family is aware of the need for physical facility and able to fulfill it then we are having a feeling of relationship with one and all founded on trust so there is fearlessness in the society and it's not only the human beings that matter also the rest of nature we are able to see you know so where human beings are living there have to be plants and trees there have to be birds and animals there have to be you know enriched soil air water so there needs to be coexistence in the nature and existence now if you look at it first of all we can ask whether we want this or not and if this is fulfilled do we want anything more than this so are all four required desirable or we can leave something out and if all four are achieved would anything else be required if all the four are achieved what else do we require so if i have to develop as a village if i have to develop as a district as a nation you know as a world we can have this as the common goal as a vision so when i have to develop my village it essentially means that every human being in the village has to have right standing every family has to prosperous if there is any family where people are not able to feed themselves properly you know it will create fear in the village then the, there will be occurrences of theft and snatching and you know robbery because somebody is there whose stomach is not getting filled kinai so we think that if somebody is creating uh, like is uh, stealing somebody's possession or doing robbery only he or she is wrong no have we been able to ensure prosperity in every family is it not our responsibility that every family is full, able to fulfill one's needs isn't it why is that i have accumulated a lot and the other is not having at all 
If that is the case, then there would be fear in the society. The person will first of all steal and then go for robbery. And if it doesn't work, will pick up weapons. If you see the problem of Naxalism, what is happening? This is what is happening. One generation accepts, the other generation then rejects. And then you know, there are situations like this in the society. And really, are you working for all the four in the family, in the society? So where do we start from? Where do we start from? Individual. Yeah. Very nice. So starting from oneself, starting from individual. So if the human being has right understanding, then only the family can be prosperous because the clarity of the needs would be there. Isn't it? And when the two are ensured, then only there will be fearlessness in the society. And then only we will be able to coexist with the rest of nature. So it has to go this way. It's starting from individual to family to society and to nature. And when we say individual, then it starting from myself. In organization from myself, in society from myself. You know? But if you look at the current state of society, it could be like this. In place of ensuring right understanding and right feeling, we are filled up with assumptions. Money is everything. Nobody is trustworthy. You know? This is a different kind of world. Here you have to you know, fight others to survive. They struggle for survival. Only the fittest can survive. Things like this. So in place of having that understanding, we filled up with so many assumptions, creating doubts in relationships, creating doubts about one's needs, one's survival, isn't it? So all the time we are in fear, in stress, most of the time. Similarly, in place of ensuring prosperity, we are aiming for accumulation by all means. Isn't it? Many times we will find that the parents might have a feeling that, okay, I could not fulfill the desire of mine, you know, but my child should be able to do, isn't it? The illiterate can never do cyber crimes. On one hand, we have technologies growing. On the other hand, we have to teach a mandatory course on cyber security. On one hand, we are developing so many factories and technologies, and we have to teach a mandatory course in environmental science, isn't it? Similarly, in place of fearlessness, what is growing is domination, exploitation, fear. You see, so much of money must have got wasted away since last year, February, when Ukraine and uh, Russia are at war, and then now Palestine and you know, Israel are at war. If that could be utilized for feeding the families, education, health care, so much of good things could have been done. We are not doing that. And we are just in a race to conquer more and more weapons. And in place of coexisting with the nature, we are trying to master over the nature, exploit the nature. We feel that this air is not you know, moving the right way. Let me move it the right way. The river is not flowing the right way. Let us design something to make it flow the right way. The trees are going unnecessarily. You know, let them cut. Let us cut them and <laughs> do something about it. In China, it so happened that in 1950s they had revolution every year. Sometimes steel revolution, sometimes agricultural revolution. So they had different plans of accomplishing it. So when they were having this year for agricultural revolution, the farmers found that a uh, share of our produce is eaten away by rats or this rodents and you know, insects. So they went and complained to the government that do something about it. They are eating our share of crop production. If they are not eating, then we can produce much, much more. Then the government announced that, okay, we'll you know, have awards for those who kill them and bring to us. So you can see videos are there, photographs are there. People are standing in queues, you know, holding rodents and insects and birds. And then for six or seven months, they did like this. So the crop production grew in the next one or two years. But then a natural havoc took place in 1961. And in that, one crore people died because they could not see that the insects have a role to play in production. The rodents have a role to play in the production. They are cross-pollinating the plants. They are adding to the variety of you know, plants. They could not see this. So if you assume that these insects and birds and animals are a threat to us, ultimately we are going to suffer. 
there is a story about a professor so one morning he was roaming in his garden and he saw that one cow is roaming around him moving very slowly you know eating grass and then there is a bird which which is flying freely in the sky he said that is a very poor design of nature this cow who is so useful it can only walk so slow and this bird good for nothing is flying so high so freely if i was a designer of nature i would have made the cow fly and the bird you know walk on the road shared the script on his head <laughs> and then he felt that this design is better you know <laughs> if there was a cow on the top you know <laughs> <laughs> so we can see that because of these false assumptions false conditionings we are having this kind of obsession in the society obsession for consumption for profit for sensual pleasure there are so many industries coming up you know to go for obsession to make you go for obsession for consumption you can see what share of money is being wasted away for consumption and how we are doing the business today for profit others profit is my loss this is the common notion isn't it in place of working for mutual prosperity we assume that others profit is my loss the more i tax the other the more i exploit the other i am going to be making more profits but maybe essentially i am not able to prosper that way and sooner or later i start suffering obsession for consumption how much to consume having 1000 houses you know now this is obsession kind of obsession the story about nero one roman dictator that he had a hobby of getting tasty food so what he did he had some cook in the palace they cooked very tasty food for him he will eat it and then when his stomach was full he had some vaidy some doctors who will make him vomit so he vomited and then ate again and this continued for days together and because of this person this became a kind of fashion in rome some you know the years back maybe 1600 or something people used to consume then vomit and then eat pardon so this is a madness this is an obsession for consumption similarly for sensual pleasure we can see so many industries coming up you know for sub obsession of sensual pleasure in the war and terrorism we can see we can also see the problems of resource depletion and pollution now so rampant the air quality index which has to be below 80 many in many places it is above 400 500 many of the health issues are not coming up because of pollution so these are gross misunderstandings and you know, this is lack of competence what we naturally accept is this if you are able to see this then we can make the right program for the society now how to ensure right understanding for that we have to have education sanskar education essentially to develop the right understanding in the child isn't it right from primary to higher education then to ensure prosperity in the family or to coexist with the nature we have to have program for health and self regulation so now we can look into the role of doctor is the role of doctor to cure the diseases or the role is to develop the feeling of self regulation in the patient don't fall sick at all <coughs> earlier we had so many formula to keep our body healthy when the season changes consume this the rainy season is coming stop eating this start eating this all those are getting lost day by day when the winter has set in eat this avoid this the curd is to be eaten in the summer curd is to be avoided in the winter and so on we are having so many ways of you know keeping our body healthy so essentially the health system will work to develop the feeling of self regulation isn't it and a natural outcome is health so you can have sessions like this for people to keep good health in the university in the society in the village and how to keep good health similarly production and work we have to make out what to produce how much to produce and then work physically to keep the body healthy as well as to produce the physical facility to the extent that we are going for automation is it really required and how much of energy is being consumed to automate every process that also you have to make out 
So to what extent is that required? Beyond what extent it is not required? <coughs> Similarly, society. Justice means mutual happiness, isn't it? We are going to the courts of law once the injustice has taken place. Some dispute is there. And the dispute it started many you know, years back maybe. It has come to a level where we have to go to the court, to go to the police station. So proactively the role of the lawyer or the policeman is not to fight injustice or to deal with injustice. The rules ensure justice. So we can have sessions on, you know, such like sessions, such sessions uh, in the family so that people are able to have this competence to live with justice in every relationship. So here also while working in organization, there are issues of justice and injustice, isn't it? So how to ensure justice among faculty, among management, between faculty and management, among the students, between faculty, management and students, how to ensure mutual happiness. It is a kind of proactive program. How to ensure justice in every relationship. If you do not work proactively, then we start working once the problems have come up. And many times, while working to sort out the problems, we get into more problems. That is being reactive. So there could be two, three modes of working. Proactive, active and reactive. Proactive means we are able to see that if the other person has lack of competence, he or she may be doing something wrong. So one has to develop the competence. This is working proactively. Once somebody has done wrong, then we are trying to cure it. This is being active. And in place of curing it, I am doing something else <laughs> to spoil the situation. <laughs> you abused me, I made you know, fought with you. This is being reactive. So presently if you see, we are either active or reactive, seldom we are proactive. Similarly, with preservation, we have to see how we can preserve our forest, preserve our soil, preserve air, preserve water. A good thing is that we could see in SRM, there are so many lakes. So the water table is preserved here. In many places, the water table is going down. And now the states are being declared, like South Africa, the whole nation has been declared without water. The Cape Town, the capital city is completely without water, zero water. No ground water, the water has to be imported. So we have to see how we can preserve the nature. Similarly, how we can exchange in a mutually fulfilling manner. Now, when we are exchanging with the other human being, what would be motivation? To make maximum profit or to ensure mutual prosperity? It could be, you know, we can very easily say that yes, it is mutual prosperity, but are we really working for that? Are we looking into the other person who is exchanging with me while purchasing vegetable, while purchasing clothes, while purchasing, you know, anything, are we able to see that the needs of the other is also fulfilled while paying to the maid, while paying to the watchman, while paying to the car cleaner, are we able to see that, yes, we are exchanging in such a way that mutual prosperity is ensured. If that is not ensured, today or tomorrow it will lead to struggle in the society. So there could be three modes of exchange. One mode is take and take. I think of taking maximum from you, you think of taking maximum from me take and take. The second mode could be take and give. I think of taking maximum from you, you think of taking, giving maximum to me. And the third would be give and give. I think of giving to you, you think of giving to me. Take and take, take and give, give and give. What is acceptable naturally? Give and give. In that mode also the needs will be fulfilled. Also there will be a feeling of relationship. When it is for take and take, the needs might get fulfilled, but there is a stress, there is tension in the relationship. Similarly, storage, how much I have to store? If I am not able to get the meaning of storage, I may get into accumulation and, uh, and trying to make it unlimited. So to fulfill these four human goals, we need to have the five dimensions in society and the foundation is education, which we will discuss, right? Break time. Okay. okay. harmony of uh, self and family and um, little need to understand <coughs> uh, with, with the today's uh, lecture also and then I have to correlate with my family too. I have to society, correlate with? With family and so society. Okay. 
Any particular Still takeaway? Still exploring. Any particular takeaway regarding the feeling that we shared? Yeah, I shared with uh, my family yesterday. Okay. <laughs> uh, what was I learned the past two days? And about uh, the happiness they need to make me. I just realized for the past one week what I got it from them in terms of happiness, what I have given in terms of happiness. I realize myself I have to examine further. That's up from my thank you. Nice, nice. Yeah, I am not speaking, so I have to speak now. So just, uh, I'll just uh, continue with your uh, feedback, sir. You are asking in the morning session. I noted some points, so I will shall I read it from that. Uh, so the first one is regarding your uh, uh, this uh, UHV program. So I have just uh, noted these three words, right? Uh, Mike, uh, okay, right understanding, then uh, relationship with the human beings and uh, physical uh, facility. So these three words are very interesting. So uh, I think <laughs> I, I will just uh, remember these words in my life uh, so that I will be able to connect with the UHV uh, and all other uh, relationship or happiness or feelings, uh, harmony, etc. at any point of time. So this is uh, an eye-opener for me, I would say your program, UHV program, the uh, past two days. Uh, then uh, adding to that, um, uh, I would say all are having competence. So nobody is lacking with the competence. Then um, uh, either uh, you just to say, for example, uh, for irritation, that is uh, getting angry. Some examples, case studies are also been shared. Uh, in that direction, uh, we get uh, irritated or uh, angry. Uh, maybe uh, due to so many uh, instances, for example, I'm driving on the road, and applying a brake, then uh, it lead to a lot of other consequences. But I apply the brake. After applying the brake, I'll open the door and shout at that fellow. What is an idiot? Why are you crossing like that? So this is a normal human being behavior. So nothing can be done. So the, and again, uh, I can just continue that example with the students, with my colleague, with my family, with my friends, uh, etc. So, uh, so even though we have this uh, competence in us, but certain areas where we are unable to uh, control our, uh, this, this is an outburst, I would say, uh, just like pricking a b balloon, uh, the little burst. Uh, so, so these outbursts, are they competence or lack of competence? <laughs> no, 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 no. See, all are having competence. That's what the first one I said. Everybody is having competence, sir. But you got angry, maybe. You got irritated. Does it, yeah. So does it denote your competence or lack of competence? No, the, I told you that all that level of emotions are in uh, uh, harmony, or I would say it's in uh, equilibrium. And one more pops are there, suddenly it uh, reacts uh, in this uh, form of uh, either you shout or you yell at it uh, or gesture at it. Uh, so that is, that's what I, uh, my experience about uh, uh, this okay. uh, uh, one. So try to investigate it also. Maybe <coughs> if yes, I'm sir. losing temper, I'm getting irritated, getting angry. It means uh, I am somehow not having the right understanding at this point of time about the other person. That's how I'm getting irritated or angry. If I come to understand the other person, that the intention is fine, only the competence is lacking. And it is lacking because the person has not gone through this whole process of self-exploration, not been able to develop and understanding in oneself. And that's how the other person is not behaving properly. So then maybe I do not get irritated. So keep on exploring that also. That possibility sure. is also there. Sure, sir. I hope this will help me to explore myself more. Yes. So that I won't uh, get irritated. Okay. I'll, shout. <laughs> <laughs> I'll practice this yoga, uh, the whatever you uh, told me. So then. Shout, but he is hitting. <laughs> Pardon? <laughs> All of a sudden, a person is crossing. He is uh, applying brake. Applying brake. He is applying brake. If he is not applying brake, what will happen? Yeah. See, the accident will take place. He, uh, in, in his perspective, he is competent. Yeah. So basically, when we say that I am in my own perspective, I am competent, then I have to keep it open and see. Because this could be a conditioning, some assumption in me. 
we are do assume that i am the right person i am living with perfections i am perfect but it may not be the case because i myself may be lacking right understanding and that's how i am not happy within and that's how i am sharing my own happiness with outside so that is the after effect so first thing is a person crossing he is applying brake or if he is not applying brake uh, it is going to be a serious accident now another case is if he is all of a sudden applying brake another fellow coming behind and bank on his vehicle also yeah, <laughs> yeah. and so, he will shout why you applied brake because he <laughs> don't know what is happening in front of uh, the first car yeah so it may be the case that all the three are lacking right understanding that is something that we should accept see but uh, but, but in my case he is perfect no <laughs> he saved a life he applied brake yeah it because of that another fellow is hitting and he is also shouting at this fellow okay so how can we say that um, uh, lrgs is at fault no Or when he shouting at the other no when he is shouting at because the other because he is a competent driver and alert driver he applied brake yes so that is there so that is something that he did with the right feeling but if he is shouting on the other person who was crossing the road then so he is applying brake and not shouting yes another fellow is hitting so he is competent no <laughs> then what i'll do <laughs> what i'll do first of all i will indicate to the other that he has not done the right thing if the person on the back side is hitting me you know then it has hit my car also he it has hit his car also and then i can show to the other that if i had not applied brake then this would have happened your car has only got damaged otherwise his body would have got damaged and people are able to understand this yes and see, why so, to move so, we, so we are once again compromising on something no so see, now what we are compromising is i am safe my, only my car has got hit so damage to the car not to a personal level and that is because of the lack of competence of the third person because why is moving so so close to your car city see while driving like a car can we sub keep some distance at least 10 to 12 feet so in the city if you leave a small gap an auto fellow will enter in <laughs> he will put you into more trouble <laughs> otherwise the the fellow who is at back so he that will overtake case, and shout at you and go no. why you are keeping such a distance no no now i will come to that in, if that is the case no no see see if that is the case then in that situation your car is not moving that fast that the braking distance is so high then the car speed is below 25 30 km per hour by any city for that matter bumper to bumper is a standard life <laughs> the gap between bumpers are not even inches that is the condition so rainy season rainy days four to five cars hitting one behind See, the other i'll give you a very situation. simple when a formula here you can always accept that the other can commit mistake yes so drive safely like that you know i have been driving and i find that i have never hit anybody any vehicle any human being because i do assume that the other can commit a mistake i have to be careful why we are rushing on the road why we are changing our track all the time yeah uh, good morning i really appreciate my kollu uh, fellow explorer uh, lrgs for having opened his mouth in the second session uh, which probably uh, he has not opened this mouth in the first session i understand yes. <laughs> uh, which is ulti- no, 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 let me let me complete uh, which is probably gave a indication to all the uh, uh, other hollow uh, fellow uh, uh, explorer and the organizer as well that two people were absent for the first session <laughs> okay had as we had as he done that in the morning probably my absence and probably ir absence would not have been failed first point and uh, I, i mean endorsing uh, lrgs view when i took my vehicle yesterday evening from this place i made up my mind not to be angry or upset or annoyed with whatever happens and with the hell a lot of uh, traffic in the main road gst road i was you know mo- moving not even in uh, snail space but uh, when i took a right turn to my house uh, there was a he- heavy traffic and uh, one gentleman uh, happened to cross my car in a two wheeler very comfortably uh, putting the indicator on the right side and he badly wanted to turn on the left side <laughs> so what i thought was he going to turn on the left side i just started uh, you know slowly uh, inching my vehicle uh, towards and he was shouting at me and of course still i am a human being and i had to shout at him within the car but it did not have reached him <laughs> see so the driving sense or common sense is not so common now 
So instead of you know, as the uh, Linus observed, uh, the bumper to bumper, the third party who hits me from the back may not have the competency or understanding whatsoever it is. Ultimately, our vehicle get damaged, and having hit my vehicle, he will start blaming me, shouting at me without uh, uh, you know even have a consideration that my vehicle also got uh, hit damaged. So I mean, as the uh, uh, thing is like everyone whether in this place or elsewhere, should have a right understanding of the individual and the others. Uh, probably we cannot teach all those people the UHV. Yeah, but at least I will not get irritated, but I can see very clearly that naturally they do not accept to hit anybody. Naturally they do not accept to you know, commit such mistakes. It's only that they are engrossed in some thought, some imagination. Maybe somebody has to reach by some time. Yeah, maybe... Maybe because of uh, the physical loss, Monetary loss is there, so physical damage is there. So why we are getting irritated is because of not only oh, the act, but uh, there is a big damage. You know? See, my son's car involved in a similar situation two weeks before. Because of bumper to bumper insurance, we got the money. Otherwise, around 60,000 rupees. Full damage. Because of the mistake of some other idiot. Okay, that is the situation. Yeah, and I'll say that looking at an individual level, <laughs> looking at as an individual, we find this kind of problem. Now we can look at the societal level. Can there be better means of transportation? Yeah. Why can't we move in metros? Why can't we use public transport? Where is metro? <laughs> yeah. Where is metro? Yeah, so we can work out the program to have good means of public transport. Or even, you know, not metro, local trains, which are very active in Maharashtra and Bombay. So we can look for such means also. Why so many people are consuming so many vehicles, moving a single, per, a single person moving in a single car, occupying so much space on road, having traffic jams, creating so much of pollution, creating resource depletion? Could there be better means of fulfilling our need for transportation? Now, with this understanding, I can start thinking proactively. Daily, this is happening. Why not develop some alternative means for that? Can it be a possibility that to come to SRM, I do not have to use my own vehicle? There are good means of public transport. We can think about that. See, another uh, scenario. So we are going in... Uh, ...opposite direction and yelling at us. See, the problem is uh, we want to be in, uh, you know, I mean, following everything in the right manner. But these people yelling. Another important point is this guy may be uh, you know, carrying their uh, children also, sitting on the tank and other things, and yelling at the, these people. So what these guys inculcate to their children is, yeah, you can travel this way also, you can shout at any people, uh, use any language. So this is the situation, actually. So, yeah. so it means it's fine. people are not self-organized. It means you know, we do not have the right program to live in the society in harmony. So you have to develop that program. And that's how the education comes into picture. But the question is, uh, we have not been under any programs uh, in the past, but we have that kind of a culture uh, within us. So gradually but it has to be transformed. We have to start from where we stand today. Isn't it? We have to start from where we stand today. See, we are looking at the mistakes done by others. The others might also be complaining about us. Maybe you have to reach by 8.30 here and you might be rushing on the road. So many people might have got disturbed by you. We are unaware of that. Maybe you could start at 7 o'clock and you started at 7.30, for example, just an example. One day if he leaves at 7, he will reach at 7.45. The next day if he leaves at 7, he will reach by 9.30. Yeah, so if you have to... Total uncertainty. Yeah, yeah. So, in fact, I have found that if you develop good means of public transport, for example, if I have to go to my college, I go by metro. Metro I takes typically 32 minutes. Yeah, Once I board it, I get down after 32 minutes. I'm very much sure. Mm -hmm. So I can make out how much time will it take for me to reach the college. So policy, policy makers have to take a call on that. See, we are there. As, so here also, like, we are policy makers for the institution. Are we making the right policies here? The institution is all right, sir, but the, for the public transport or something like No, here also, I can see that on the road, the students are rushing on the bike. If somebody is cycling, he may get hit. 
inside the campus are we making the right policy for yeah, the cycle exactly wallers? sir inside the institution only we have so many problems where we are not really putting i mean for my n number of reasons we are not able to so uh, usually yeah usually we face now we are able to see that even if the efforts are being taken it will not come to fruition it is not coming to the yeah, end because, of yeah. because a lot of uh, discussions deliberations are going on inside the campus to improve uh, the parking um, areas um, uh, safety pedestrian safety and other things it's, in fact we faced an unfortunate uh, incident uh, some time back uh, so after that uh, uh, the things are going in a different direction. A lot of deliberations are going, but it will take some time. Yeah. Now the same, same way. Now, now let, let me respond to this. The same way. The parking I, is one of the major problems. Sir, sir, one minute. You make it a very complete yeah. So even for that, we have to create parking space outside, <laughs> outside yeah. the campus. Now, when we have to provide a solution, we can see the problem that that there. Correct. To provide the solution within a single campus, now we are able to see how many hindrances could be there. But we are expecting the government to solve everything once for all. Now, if the government goes for making such rules, and maybe the government is not elected, they have their own problems. So now you try to resolve this issue within the campus, and then you start exploring by yourself. And now that I have to change the mindset of but, the but students. But my, uh, this thing is, this is a, a fast expanding corridor. So when they planned about um, Mahindra city, which is here, which is going to house around uh, a lakh plus executives, R&Ds, this, that, without it developing the road infrastructure and rail infrastructure, around one lakh plus employees coming to a particular location, and uh, Maremalanagar area, which is another four or five kilometers from here, it's an industrial belt. These two things were developed just like that, without anything getting developed on the road and the rail infrastructure side. Yeah. That is one of the major reasons. Yeah. So we can see that this is not we choose a smaller order of the society, maybe the institute campus, sir. You choose a smaller section of the society, this institute campus, and you try to ensure these four human goals being ensured inside the campus. And then you can see what all comes to you, what you all have to face. You know? Now you'll see that I have to change the mindsets of the students, I have to change the mindset of faculty, the staff, even ours, you know, among management. So we can now see the owners that we have. Now, if you extend this order of society, then you can see the responsibility that the people sitting on the top have. Unless the mindset of the people change, you know, this problem is going to continue. So when we accept any responsibility at a particular level in the society, then only we are able to feel for the other, that what all you know, others have to go for, isn't it? Even to establish harmony in a single department, it may take years for you. And we are, we are just saying that there is no harmony in the society. So when we take that responsibility, then we are able to feel for the other. We are able to see that only the competence is lacking, though the intention is pure. Isn't it? Sir, uh, shall I continue? Just not. Uh, oh, yes. uh, ah, let yeah, this go. Yeah, yeah. So, sir, I'll just add a small yeah. point. Because the traffic thing and all was uh, coming here and, uh, in, I mean, competence and all, uh, not for debate and all, just for everybody to explore ourselves. Most of the time, what? Uh, I have felt or uh, what I feel, no? Whenever there is some issue in the traffic and we are driving, no? And uh, I don't know, whoever competence mistake, it will, if it is a woman who is driving, right? They'll let, the women is driving, no? This type of uh, thing which I have uh, sorted. At that time, I've understood a right understanding that they're putting their stress out and putting on me, let them be happy and I drive carefully. But how many of us have thought, just to ponder for yourself, whenever something is going on the traffic, whoever, whosoever mistake, if it is a woman driver on the other side, they'll think, women drive panna ipdi da. There's so many times I've heard this in like, uh, whenever I'm uh, driving in the road or here in the campus, any, even if an accident happens, uh, other person, whoever is mistake, if it's a woman in the driver, it is because of the woman who's uh, driven that a car or vehicle or something. This I've often faced a lot of uh, issues. No. The, no, I mean, uh, whatever it is, some sort of that uh, conception. Uh, so, uh, initially I used to get irritated and I used to, uh, 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 now I've understood that uh, it, is in, it is incompetence in the other person. That's why they're throwing that stress on me. Okay, let me understand. He's happy, I'm happy. Okay, you want to put a blame on me? Fine, okay, you're happy, I'm happy, let's go. Yeah, that's, but, uh, that is how I've developed over the time. But the reaction is different, no. Yeah, that's what I said. No, no, if the driver is a male, they will be shouting like anything. No, that's what I said, but I never shout. Female, they're shouting. Different. At us, no, no, will no. Only take accept. The way how they shout will be definitely different. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah you have advantage. They will no, no, not. No, no. That no, no. is what I said. Yeah, you have advantage. They will not. That 
is again preconditioning no, sir no 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 if i am driving and hey, somebody are, is involved in a physical loss you think they will leave me just like that because it's i'm a woman it's not about law it is about that incident that's what is a people. preconditioning no, again because not, that not the preconditioning law. is there that if a woman is driving and she's incurred they won't no, no. scold nothing like that no no because